Hello there. Well, it's a bit of a mixed bag of weather for this upcoming weekend. Yes, there will be some warm sunshine on offer for many of us, and with that, quite a humid feel as well. But that combination of warmth and humidity will help to trigger a few thundery showers or some heavier outbreaks of rain. Not the complete picture, however, because if you live close to some northern and eastern coasts of England and Scotland, well, it could be rather cool and murky at times as well. Now, for Friday afternoon, then, we've got a couple of areas of wet weather to contend with. One, of course, that's the Northern Ireland, southern Scotland, far north of England. This is slowly pushing its way a bit further northwards as the afternoon goes on. And across southern parts of England, into South Wales, perhaps the South Midlands, we've got an increasing likelihood of seeing some wet weather developing here. One or two sharp showers breaking out across parts of the Midlands and East Wales. Like with recent days, though, the best of the sunshine on Friday afternoon across northwest Scotland. Now, it will be a little bit less windy than what it was on Thursday, and for many of us, there will be plenty of warmth to be had on Friday afternoon, with temperatures widely into the low 20s, but close to that North Sea coast, with the breeze coming in off a chilly North Sea, well, the temperatures here pegged back to just 13 or 14 degrees. Now, on through Friday evening, then, these two areas of wet weather rotate their way a bit further north and west, so many places will be not immune from catching some lively downpours of rain from time to time, and then some further wet weather returning back into parts of eastern England later in the night. Outside of all that, there will be some drier, clearer spells to be had, but I think on the whole, quite a lot of cloud this coming night. Now, with relatively warm air in place across the UK, coupled with extensive cloud cover, well, it'll be a very mild night for many places, a bit uncomfortable for sleeping for some of us, most places staying in double figures. So we've got low pressure on the scene close to the southwest of the UK this weekend. Not moving very far either, so we've got these weather fronts rotating around it, and all the while the wind's coming in from the east or southeast, which helps to drag in some warm, humid air from continental Europe. So if you get the sunshine this weekend, I say it really will feel quite warm. Now looking towards Saturday then in a bit more detail, and again it's a bit of a mixed bag. We've got areas of rain pushing their way from southeast to northwest across the country. Very murky, low cloud, some sea fog close to some eastern coast of Scotland and northeast England. And then later in the day, a renewed clutch of heavy showers, possibly with some thunderstorms, pushing their way back into the southwest of England. Outside of that, there will be some warm sunshine, but that in itself could trigger one or two sharp showers, perhaps parts of northern England, the Midlands, Wales, southwest Scotland, looking most likely to see that. But if you hold on to the sunshine for any length of time, well, for many of us, it will be another warm and very humid feeling day. Temperatures low to mid 20s, probably about 25 or 26 in the London area, towards the northeast coast of England and eastern Scotland again, with this low cloud and perhaps some fog coming in the, off the North Sea. Temperatures much cooler than that. So then, looking ahead towards Sunday, and it's a bit of a repeat performance in many respects. We've got areas of showery rain, again, some of it heavy, potentially with the odd rumble of thunder, not out of the question. Probably more, most likely further west through Sunday. Further to the east, better chance of staying dry, but again, close to that east coast, always staying rather cool and murky at times. Best of the warmth, again, in the sunshine, low 20s in a number of spots. So that's you up to date on the forecast. Of course, you can keep up to date wherever you are by following the Met Office across social media. Take care.